Hello YouTube and welcome to this video. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to make a ticket server or a ticket server. This is gonna be on the ticket classic and they, I, f I think this uh, it is the same procedure for every mod pack there is. So you go on the ticket site, I will leave a link for it and I will also leave a link for the for the pre-made server up in the, the cards up here. So you can go ahead and download one, and I download it, so you don't have to make it yourself. Um, but what you do is click download, and then this comes. And while this is downloading, no, it's done. Come on. Um, but yeah, uh, I will then just drag it out when it's done uh -huh. so yeah here we have the server and we can just extract it to the same name I will change it in a bit but that is done we can see yeah all the things is here so I'm just gonna double uh, yeah um, you can go in here and edit it with for example notepad and you can see how much RAM it has so I have 12 gigabytes, so I can just go 4 and 3 because this is what is the max and this is what it starts on. So save and then close it and double click and it will just run it. So I have my ticket down here, and while that is Working, you can for it to be like a server your friends could join outside. You need to port forward, well, port forward, and then uh, I'm just gonna use a local, local host because that is my computer. And you can see a micro server has been set up, and I can double click and I can join. And that is actually a pretty fine world. Um, so as always, I can go up here and I can do a op and then myself and then yeah uh, you are now up and I will just say sorry to um, a person in the comment who really wanted to um, find a video on how to make it a, a how to set up a coin flip plugin I'm very sorry, and uh, I'm just gonna turn down the music. Um, but I couldn't find a free plugin that uh, worked. I found a free plugin, but I couldn't get it to work properly. So, yeah, I'm sorry for that. But I hope you will enjoy this video. And so, I'm just gonna close down the server now. Uh, like that and then we have here I can go into server.properties and yeah so you probably need to allow flight otherwise you would get kicked if you use a uh, sometimes you will get kicked for using a, a one of the rings, the fly ring, or the jetpack, and down in the. I'm actually going to change this to 15 because that's a great number. And difficulty to. And yes, why does no? Level C, nothing, and. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to call this. Uh, lava craft for for now. I think there's two spaces in between. No, there wasn't. Okay, so save it and then close it down and uh, yeah, press a key to stop it and then start up again. So now it's start up. I'm just gonna rename the server to ticket server. So 
this so I know what it is. Uh, I need to stop the server actually to do that. So I'm just gonna save the chunks and press enter and then try again like that. And now it should boot up. Yes. And we can see here Lovecraft is up and running. And we have the minimap and everything. I don't know why I don't have a skin, but uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm up so I can go between uh, cheat mode and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna remove that actually because that's irritating if we're gonna use it as a server for my friends to play on. But as you can see, it's working fine, and no, I can't. Uh, that's if you have a sense of that. Yeah. So that is working, and I hope you enjoyed this video for how to set up a Take It server. And if you enjoyed it, then leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>